Hi, my name's Tony. I'm a driver for NER based in Newcastle and I hope you enjoy this journey from Inverness through to Edinburgh via Perth. Today we start our journey in Inverness, the northernmost city of the UK and the capital of the Scottish Highlands. Upon leaving Inverness, we make the long climb up to Culloden and drop onto the single line which starts at Nairn Viaduct. Opened in 1898, the Nairn Viaduct, also known as the Culloden Viaduct, crosses the valley of the River Nairn and is the longest masonry viaduct in Scotland. First stop is Abermore, close to the Cairngorm Mountains. This town is well known for its skiing and other winter sports. After we leave Abermore, we return to the single line portion of the route. Much of the Highland Main Line is single track, so trains must be carefully timed to arrive at stations and to avoid issues. Our next station stop is Kungussi, which apparently comes from the Gaelic for Head of the Pine Forest, which makes sense when you drive past all the towering pine trees. This town also featured in the film Slumdog Millionaire. On the left-hand side, in the direction of travel, we pass the Dalwini Distillery, which is only a matter of metres from the railway. It is the highest distillery in Scotland, producing some delicious single malt Scotch whisky. Three big climbs on the route, the high speed drop up the pass which also happens to be the highest point of rail network in the UK, alongside the climb out of Inverness and also the Slock Pass which is the second highest point in the rail network in the UK. <music> Pass through Blair Athol, which is famous for its castle. But did you know the Duke of Athol is the only person in the United Kingdom who is allowed to raise a private army? After Blair Athol comes Killy Cranky, which is a fantastic name to say, before we approach Pitlockery. Pitlockery became a popular tourist destination after a visit by Queen Victoria and Prince Albert in the mid 1800s. Today you can see plenty of visitors admiring this beautiful town. Once again, more single line as we pass over Easter Dalgais Viaduct. On the right hand side of the viaduct there's a small fishing hut which apparently is popular with the royals for fishing. And we now approach Inver Tunnel. This station is Dunkeld and Burnham. We stop here on a Sunday only, along with Carbridge, Newton Moor, Blair Athol and Dunblame. <laughs> Up ahead, we're going through Kingswood Tunnel and making our way to Stanley Junction, where the single line ends. approaching Perth Station. The city of Perth sits on the banks of the River Tay and was traditionally where the Kings of Scotland were crowned. There are several places across the globe named after the city, including Perth and Australia. After we leave Perth, we make our way through Moncrief Tunnel, 
At 1200 yards or over one kilometer in length, this is the longest tunnel in Scotland. Some crossings were great names like Forgan Denny Ford in the Kirkdom of Mela, then it's Octorada signal box as we approach Glen Eagles. The name Den Eagles actually has nothing to do with eagles at all, but it's a corruption of a Latin word meaning church. Blackford and Green Loden boxes are next, passing through Dunblane and then Kippen Ross Tunnel. Approaching Bridge of Allen Station where the APCO operates. The APCO is the automatic power changeover system on the trains when the train switches from diesel to electric. Stirling Station is next. Stirling was granted city status back in 2002 and has been referred to as the Gateway to the Highlands. To the southwest of Stirling is the Bannock Burn. Fun fact, the word burn is Scots for a large stream, but you may see it in some English place names like Blackburn. Carmuir's East is next, where we get a flashing yellow to route us towards Falkirk Gravestone. Falkirk Gravestone is one of the two railway stations serving the town of Falkirk, a beautiful place. One of the most breathtaking sights there is the Kelpies, two 100 foot tall horse head sculptures. Grangemouth Junction is next, on the left hand side is the massive oil refinery, then on the Palmont Junction where we join the main line. Through Linlithgow Station, in the location of the Birth of Mary Queen of Scots, then Edinburgh Park Station as we make our approach to Haymarket. Passing Murrayfield Rugby Stadium, the largest stadium in Scotland and home of Scottish Rugby. We're nearly there. A set of three tunnels pass under the mound at Haymarket. We're going to the East One Edinburgh Waverley, where we finish our journey. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.